friends. So I got a bunch of nerdy things to talk to you guys about today. So the first thing is Stranger Things. They just posted um, their poster art for season two. And we see our four boys back on their bikes on this long road looking into the town. And um, the main thing you're focusing on is the sky. So in the bottom left corner, it's normal. It just looks like a sunset. On the right side, it's kind of stormy. But right in the dead center middle, it's these red clouds. And if you look really closely, there's like these octopus tentacle-like things that you can see. It's like it's a creature in the clouds. You can't see his face. It just looks like there's tentacles or something in there. So my guess is that I think that the upside down is... And the upside down in reality is going to be meshing more this season. They had the off-site government facility portal place. And there was also that tree that they went through that got them to the upside down. But I'm starting to think now that it's really starting to mesh with reality. Um, I mean, you saw Will, he puked up the, the little slug thing um, at the end of season one. So that is just my guess. Um, so the other thing I noticed was that you could see the welcome sign, like the welcome sign into the town is facing us and the boys are on their bikes and their backs are turned to us like they're um, riding into the town, which is interesting to me because usually on these sci-fi like small town type shows, I always wonder if it's ha like what other people in the country or the world are doing. Like, do they know about it? Do they not know about it? Is it happening where they are too? Like, so, that gives me some indication that of, like this town is definitely ground zero for the upside down um but i'm also wondering if they're going to expand the scope of it are they going to move to outside the town are things going to start happening outside of there are people like 11 going to start showing up in other towns like and leading people to more portals to the upside down or because like the monster in the big cloud like i said earlier since the reality and the upside down are meshing, is that gonna affect um, everywhere more than just the town? Like, is the monster gonna be in the town? People are gonna be watching news in like London and like New York or wherever else in the country and um, be wondering about what's going on. Like, is it gonna just expand or is it just explaining to us that it's only happening in this one town? So that's something interesting that I'm looking forward to seeing next season. So in the corner, little corner um it said october 27th was the premiere date which is different from what it was before originally um when they had the little teaser way back when it said halloween which is the 31st um but now we're getting it on the 27th so i guess that's good because we're gonna get a little sooner so that's a plus the next thing i want to talk to you about is the flash so we got a couple photos from set this past week and let me tell you the first photo we have you have iris look, looking like she's walking towards this obviously it has to be a villain because there's a police officer standing next to her and she's just all tall boss like walking out like yeah i just defeated savitar last season so you know i'm coming for you like you're nothing whatever he's doing to her um but she was kind of looking like a little TV reporter, like she was out in the field doing stuff. So let's keep our fingers crossed for that. But, you know, Iris being a boss, we all know that that was not, that was that's just who she is, you know. So I'm not I'm not surprised that she's doing it. I'm just happy that they're showing her do it more. And of course, like she basically saved everybody last season. So why not be her facing the villains and stuff this season? The second photo that was released um, from the Flash set was Wally West in Barry's red Flash suit. Now, last season we all saw Barry walk into the Speed Force and erase himself from the narrative, just like Eliza, like who does he think he is, ruining all of the happiness that him and Iris built up all season, but whatever. And of course he looks to Wally and is like, you gotta lead and be the Flash now or save the city now from all the villains. So, um, well, of course, we're thinking like, oh, it's going to be Wally West. But now we see Wally in Barry's suit and we're all wondering, is this going to be like the Justice League now? Are they going to give us Justice League? Because, you know, we had 
Martian Manhunter over on a different Earth that can come back and forth. Um, can they give us Green Lantern? Can they give us Wonder Woman? Can we get Batman? Like, can we get something more? Can we get Superman? Like, <laughs> are they going to give us that? Um, but, you know, my guess is just that people in Central City are wondering where the Flash is and somebody gets the bright idea of like, oh, Wally, just put a suit on and run around and act like you're the Flash, even though you're black and Barry's not. So people won't know um, if you just move fast like that fat head thing that Barry used to do when he was trying to hide his identity for like 30 seconds. Um, but uh, people are just going to be like, uh, they're just going to do that and trick the people, I guess, ease the minds of the people of Central City to make them believe that they got Kid Flash and The Flash so they can feel extra safe, I guess, or whatever. But obviously, they're not going to be able to keep it up and everything will probably just go back to normal. My hope is that he just becomes The Flash and he's like that for a good while and then somehow they get Barry out of the Speed Force and the whole world doesn't collapse because of it and he comes back and has to somehow adjust to this whole new world order where Wally West is like all oh, this confident cocky dude now he's the Flash and Barry's back and it's just like what's he gonna do now obviously he's gonna want to return to being the Flash so but it's not gonna be that easy but we'll see what they do once the season starts, I'm excited for it. And the last thing I want to talk about is Black Panther. This week, let me tell you, I was just sitting on Twitter minding my own business and all of a sudden, all these pictures dropped from set, like of Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger, Black Panther, the whole, his whole family, like they got the portraits and everything, like just these, I mean, like just marvel in these pictures pun intended but like i just it's it's the best thing ever it's the most amazing thing like i freaked out i was like i freaked out when i saw the trailer and i was screaming and almost crying and had to watch it a couple of times and i've been looking at these pictures and i cannot wait for this movie to come out february 18th needs to get here asap like i'm not playing around i'm gonna be in the theater opening night i don't care if it's midnight i don't care what i gotta do the next day i take a whole week off work if i have to <laughs> just see this movie i'm getting all my peoples and we gotta come out and show up and show up because like look at like y'all can see these pictures they're amazing and then I was on Twitter and I also saw that apparently the first cut of the movie was like four hours long and you know what I don't even care like let it be four hours long in the theaters I'll be there I'll just sneak in a meal to the movie theater and um have my snacks and just enjoy life at that moment like this movie is gonna be so lit like I'm just I'm so excited I can't even explain to you like how excited I am it's just like go see this movie go see it opening weekend go take a hundred people with you uh, rent out whole movie theaters um every theater in the theater <laughs> if you can um but like I'm so excited I'm so ready for this movie to come out like let's go and lastly San Diego comic-con is next weekend um, like 20 to 21st, whatever the dates are. And I will be, um, stalking Twitter and YouTube, looking up all of the information from the panels and every, all the spoiler information that people are talking about, all the cast and everything. So, um, I will be posting a reaction about all of the stuff I'm learn I'm going to learn from San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, thank you in advance to all of the wonderful people who go there and video record the panels and post them on YouTube because that's the only way I can see them and I will definitely be watching them and taking notes on all of the things to come and getting super super excited for the super super long wait for all my shows to come back so um and then we can talk about it so make sure you share like and subscribe follow me on Twitter everything will be um in the description box below have a great week See you later.